let's look at the production order process in action. As you can see, this production order status is set to released. This means the production staff can now begin producing our finished good. On the rows, you can see the production order is populated with our billing material, reflecting the required stages, items, and resources to produce our finished good. The real benefit of the production order is that we can manage the entire production process and track the actual run times of our resources, as well as the actual consumption of our raw materials. In addition, we can record any variances that will impact our total production costs, such as overtime or additional raw materials. For example, during the final assembly stage, we plan to consume one hour of effort. However, you can see we actually had to record two hours due to one hour of overtime. Moreover, once the entire production process is completed, we can report the completion and receive our finished good into inventory. Lastly, we can easily view a summary of the plan cost versus actual cost along with any variances. For example, we can see that there is a variance of $15 to reflect the one hour of overtime. Also, you can view the actual item component costs, the actual resource component costs for the total actual cost of our finished good. And to the right, we can see the actual total production times.